Hey there. So today, I don't really have a security tip for you. This is more uh, a technical thing. But I want to talk about the difference between baseband and broadband communications. Um, sometimes people get these mixed up, uh, which is what I heard today, which is why I'm doing this video. Uh, so I'm going to tell you the differences between these two types of communication networks. So uh, first off, let's talk about baseband communication. So in a baseband communications network, um, the communication is occurring over the wire or the line or however you want to call it, the communication is happening over the entire bandwidth of that medium, which means there's no separate channels really, it's just the whole thing is on there. Um, on a computer network on a LAN, um, you've got signal traveling over the wire and it's, it's using the entire bandwidth that's on that cable, right? Now, if you want to divide up the communication on that cable, you can do that through a process called multiplexing, but on a, uh, on a baseband communication network, um, you've got to divide that up by time, which means the first period, a little bit of time, the first slot of time might be channel one, the second slot of time might be channel two, third slot of time might be channel three. And of course you need equipment on either end to uh, coordinate that multiplexing so that you can have these, these uh, combined signals going across your line. Uh, but the big thing for uh, baseband communication is that it's, it's typically a digital signal and that it's using the entire bandwidth of the medium. Okay, so, and, and you can remember by thinking about your computer network, a 10 base T network, a 10 G base T network, that base is baseband, that's baseband communication. Okay, now, uh, the other concept is broadband communication. And uh, you probably hear about internet service providers with their broadband internet. Well, in broadband, which is usually an analog signal, um, we're not using the entire bandwidth of the medium to send our stuff. We're using certain frequencies in that medium to uh, send our information through on that network. This is how, for example, uh, cable TV can have multiple channels on the single line coming in because each channel is running a separate frequency. And you might add internet onto that as well with your uh, cable access modem. And there, boom, you've got uh, all this different stuff happening at different frequencies, all traveling over the same line. Um, this is what uh, broadband communication is. And so, as I've just described with broadband communication, when you're dividing up the signal or multiplexing the signal, um, everything is happening in different frequency ranges, right? So, um, just like I said, you know, certain TV channels might be on a certain frequency range, another channel on a different frequency range, your internet is on a different frequency range. Um, that's how it works. And, and once again, on each end of the connection, you need some sort of equipment that's gonna understand how that multiplexing is working and be able to separate out stuff. And you know, with cable TV, it's your tuner, right? Pretty straightforward. Um, on a data network, it would be some other kind of equipment uh, that would be doing that. But yeah, that's the difference between baseband and broadband. Not a, not a whole lot to it, uh, but just something I hope you found interesting and that uh, I wanted to clear up because uh, I heard some people using those terms interchangeably today and it's not right. So uh, there you go. Alrighty, I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.